What's going on, everybody? All right. Uh, like I said, took the day to recover. Um, still in that stuff, probably for the next month or two. So um, I got some emails I got to get back to. As far as the pain meds, I'm off of them. So <laughs> that's why I'm miserable. Um, once you're living in the real world, it's like, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's it's the process of it. I needed to do that for the first phase of it. So now it's like, yeah. But anyway, time to put on some videos. So give my comments on certain things today. You all saw the thing with Diamond um, telling Congress if it was up to him, if he was government, he would ban all crypto. This coming from the company that just launched Onyx and the company that in 2021 talked about Ethereum staking being up to a $40 billion market. Uh, I'll give you another one. All right. It's a fraud. Those were the famous words from JP Morgan CEO Diamond. Okay. The time, 2017, at the Barclays Global Financial Service Conference. I'm going back in time here. Diamond, of course, was referring to Bitcoin. His comments didn't stop there. He went on to say the cryptocurrency was worse than the tulip bulbs. Or, of course, Diamond was referring to the 1637 Dutch tulip. You know that whole stuff, the whole Ponzi scheme. Uh, it was just people buying tulips for no reason. January 2018, Diamond publicly stated that he regretted calling Bitcoin a fraud and even acknowledged the blockchain was real. Meanwhile, the readers have remembered that April 2016 at the time noted that the governor's, government's war on cash and reckless monetary and physical policies as the reason to buy crypto further highlighted the growing investment volume on the blockchain technology. By the time Diamond called Bitcoin a fraud, we were up 872%. And by the time he changed his mind, we were up 3,444%. Look, people, I didn't tell you something. They don't care if it's Bitcoin. They don't care if it's Ethereum. They run those coins. The coin that terrifies them, the coin that terrifies them, I'm going to say this again, and I got nothing against Morgan and Diamond and stuff like that. <laughs> What's up, Diamond? Uh, everybody knows that the big banks are terrified of XRP replacing them in the cross-border settlement for international payments because banks around the world will not have to leave large retainers of cash to cover the fees associated with moving money around the world. So these coins, XRP, XLM, they're one and the same they basically allow banks around the world to do business with each other and companies and people and whatever eliminating the big banks like morgan in the middle of this so what you heard today it's fairy dust it's a show for congress that's all it was you cannot have a bitcoin staking department in your in your bank you cannot be saying statements about Ethereum staking. All your clients, like, look at all of these ETF, Bitcoin ETFs, they're going to pop up. Come on. XRP, the reason they won't talk about it, because that is the real 100% big bank eliminator. The big banks can use it, but the thing is, once the small banks have it, they don't need to use the big banks. Do you understand? That's a lot of money. So just want to put that out there. Yeah, more bits to come.